29 years ago today, Nirvana frontman Kurt Cobain was found dead in his Seattle home. But as King 5's Maddie White reports, his legacy lives on in the Emerald City, even fostering a love connection when two fans met at his memorial bench. This is his house in the back, and Kurt used to come here apparently to smoke cigarettes. And cigarettes are among the items gifted to the Kurt Cobain Memorial Bench at Verretta Park this week. To mourn Kurt. But for one Seattle couple, it's something in the way Kurt gave back to them. I got told that she wanted to meet me because I walked up the stairs here. <laughs> and ever since then, I stayed in Seattle. And, and we had this baby because of Kurt Cobain. <laughs> she loves Nirvana. Yeah, she loves it. <laughs> we tested that theory, and sure enough, this is the another one. Yeah. <laughs> This baby rocks. <laughs> she likes it. I'm sorry, I just had to because she, she was dancing it. and it was the cutest yeah. thing ever. Smiling ear to ear. Yeah. <laughs> the most grunge baby, yeah. Yeah, you want a grunge story? Yeah. This is it. A living legacy of a man who was full of life. Kurt Cobain was an incredibly funny, dynamic person. Yeah, I made him in two color versions. Karen Mason Blair is the <laughs> rock and roll photographer. Here we are now, entertain us, you know. I mean, come on, you know. As, as rare as it Behind is to have these a famous of images of the Nirvana bandmates American in band Santa hats. This is me and Kurt Cobain 30 years ago. But even all these years later. Look, look at this star. Look at him. As a mental health crisis remains in our society, Blair says she believes Kurt would want us to continue destigmatizing it. I mean, that's why he sings, come as you are. He wrote a song about lithium. It's a thing, and we just need to talk about it as normal as insulin. Patty White. Or as a heart medicine. King 5 News.